Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman coming to you from Studio B, the garden level of the Holman House. We're a little remote today, but we are staying in town. As a matter of fact, we're spending a little time with Marianne Bacon. She's a strategic integration manager, SLE Digital Strategies and Services, Division of Student Life and Engagement at MSUIT. Did I get it all, Marianne? I, I think you did. I think you did. Yes. <laughs> you must have a huge business card. That's all I can think. Yeah. You know, it's it's more of a business sheet than it is uh, a card. <laughs> Please submit it two days in advance type thing. Right. <laughs> all right. So let's talk a little bit about we're going to we're going to circle back and talk uh, uh, in a minute about what that is and what, you know, your functions are. But you also get very involved in uh, benevolence, which we all do to an extent. Mm -hmm. You have something coming up, Art a la carte, which makes me feel like I should be holding my coffee cup with a little Yes, it is a, it is a pinkies up type of event. Yes, we, we get a little fancy. I think the world could use a little more fancy these days, right? No, you're absolutely right, because we've gotten to the base level, that's for sure. All right, let's talk a little bit about that, because this deals with the Sparrow Foundation as well. Yes, absolutely. It's so this is Sparrow Foundation's group uh, W3 Women Working Wonders, which is a group of women uh, that come together to raise uh, awareness and funds to uh, promote women's health care here in mid Michigan. Uh, we raise funds for women we may never meet. Um, and it impacts the community at large uh, with all the events that we do and the outreach. Um, and of course, so. work closely with the foundation, right? And did yes. you have any, anything to do with Dapper Dads, which uh, just concluded? Yes. So I personally uh, was unable to participate in Dapper Dads, although I did vote. Uh, but yes, Women Working Wonders uh, has been a proud, uh, that is our capstone event of the year, uh, Dapper Dads every year that we partner with Casa Checks Menswear downtown, um, who is a phenomenal uh, partner. Uh, for that event. And uh, I think it's something that really the whole community gets behind each year. You know, this is a very unique event also. And I, I have to tell you that you're looking at a former Mr. January. Okay. Ah, well, thank you for that. I didn't realize I was in the presence of such, uh, you know, well-known alum. <laughs> no, no, don't be like that, Mary. No, <laughs> no, the fact is I did, I think the first three years. Of okay. That. Uh, with Kelly Dean and a number of other people in the uh, in the area, uh, but it is very unique, and you've thrown something into it just to explain. It's an evening where kind of some local names and people um, come that night, and they show off. Uh, in the old days, they showed off fashions from Kazachex, mm -hmm. uh, which they still do. Still do. And this is a, a wonderful men's store downtown Lansing. Uh, and now you've you've shown you that that some of them can perform, so they have to come in with like an act as they go down the runway. And as Marianne said, people vote, and each vote counts four dollars. And I think you raise now a pretty phenomenal amount of money. We do, we do. It's pretty impactful uh, the amount of money that um, we're able to pull together from the community through generous uh, donations and sponsorships, uh, and really really impact a, an incredible amount of people throughout our community here. And yeah, that's pretty amazing. Okay. So, um, the, uh, the art a la carte by invitation exclusive, what? Yeah, so this is an exclusive event. Um, Art a la carte is uh, a fall event that this will be our third year. Our first one was in 2019. Um, we skipped 2020, as most folks did for things, um, but then uh, brought it back in 2021. Um, we've partnered with Sierra Auto Campus uh, out there, kind of Okemos and Jolly, uh, which is your BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Porsche dealership. Um, they have graciously offered us their campus for the second year in a row for this event. It is an evening filled with a live art auction highlighting wonderful artists uh, with various different mediums that they're using, metal and sculpture and painting and photography, um, which is the highlight of the event. What's new this year is that we're also doing a wine tasting. So mm -hmm. we'll be featuring wines, uh, some from Michigan, some from uh, the greater US and some uh, from Europe and Australia. Um, and the purchases, folks can stock up their sellers for the holidays or gifts, or as I'm fond of saying, just a really good Tuesday. You know, yeah. <laughs> so 
you can stock your seller and the proceeds of all of those purchases are going to benefit the W3 Stella and Jerry Cash Endowment for Women's Heart Health. As you know, women's heart health is uh, one, one of the, the major killers of women is, is heart disease. And, uh, and it's really important to have uh, some focus on the on this cause. So uh, all the proceeds from Art a la carte go to benefit that Stella and Jerry Cash Endowment for Women's Heart Health. So we're real proud of that. Well, um, Stella and Jerry are both very good friends, as a matter of fact. Look, we got got a, probably a minute left. I do want to hear about your job and what you do. Sure. Yeah. So um, I spent 20 years working in food and beverage and uh, a proud uh, team member at Kellogg Center and the stateroom restaurant uh, where I was the wine director for several years, um, which is where I come in. This is kind of a merger of these two worlds for me uh, with the wine tasting to benefit this wonderful cause and my background in wine. Um, so and I currently still work with Michigan State. I pivoted to a position working with our internal IT team uh, here with student life and engagement where we can serve our students across campus in the residential halls, in the dining halls, in students affairs and services, and uh, helping uh, integrate their technology needs uh, from those organizations and uh, just being a good partner um, to serve this campus community. Well, Mary Ann Bacon, uh, thanks so much for joining us and thanks for what you're doing this whole thing, uh, 6 p.m. October 13, right? How do they get a hold of you very quickly if they want yeah. to get involved? Absolutely. If they want to get involved, please contact Sparrow Foundation. Uh, that's the fastest way to get in touch. We're happy to get, send you the link for the website to purchase tickets. Tickets are on sale um, for this October 13th event. Okay, very good. Marianne, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. You have all been watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman.